Alley man is found dead after a fight over a backpack. Now his family is pleading for help to catch the killer. They opened up to Team 12's Trisha Hendricks, who joins us now with their emotional plea. He just loved everybody. He was the most kindest boy. On July 21st at 4 o'clock in the morning, Matthew Groves was sleeping on the sidewalk when he was approached by a man who attempted to steal his backpack. There was a struggle and they shot him. Shot him in the, back of the head. in the back of the head. He later died from his injuries at the hospital. He had so much to give. Matthew's mother, grandmother, and aunt speaking with 12 News about his death. Matthew has saved five lives already. The nurses and anyone that would come and visit him during the time would ring it, and um, and it was a symbol of um, of a hero being visited. Matthew's mother, of course, heartbroken. He's never going to have the opportunity to take the beautiful artwork and his talent that he has, and he's never going to have that opportunity to enrich it. He's never going to be able to show us what he has struggled for 26 years to do that mm -hmm. he can make it. Everyone loved him. They want whoever did this to come forward. If they had to ask him for whatever they were looking for, a dollar, cigarettes, his sandwich, anything. His backpack. His backpack. His backpack. He would have given it to him. Investigators are now looking for any information from the public. Even if you think it's a rumor, call the detectives. Mm -hmm. If you know anything, call Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. I am just praying to God that there's just one one person that has the answer that has the answer to this trisha hendricks Him 12 news uncles and his nephew mm, so sad the police are offering a one thousand dollar reward for any information in this case if you know something anything about what happened to matthew groves please call silent witness at 480 witness you can remain anonymous